That's incredible. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Napa, California for their Main Street reunion. This is a really nice show in a really, really nice setting. Napa is absolutely beautiful, and they basically close down the streets, take over the town, and pack in about 400 gorgeous dream machines. But rather than just talk about it, let's get around and do some California dreaming. That has to be the hardest item to find on this car, probably. Oh, gosh, <laughs> yes. Gene, how you doing, man? Great, Dennis. How you doing? What a beautiful day here in Napa, California. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, and this this is a beautiful town to begin with. And then yep. when you close down Main Street, you took mm -hmm. over Napa and pack mm -hmm. it full of cars. Yep. That's like a full of nice cars. Very nice cars. There's lots of people, every, you know, a lot of people that are great to be around. You know, I mean, car people are great to be around anyway, right? Oh, absolutely. That's, that's my favorite kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> and then have it here in the wine country. I mean, Napa's such a destination anyway. Yep. And then to, to throw a car show mm -hmm. in downtown this beautiful, beautiful city, it's just, yeah. it's like magic here, man. How long yeah. you been doing it? We did it for three or four years, probably 10 years ago, and then we stopped for a while and then we started in again. And we've been, I think this is our third or fourth year again in a row that we've been doing it again. And it's, it's just getting a little bigger and better every year. Well, how many cars do you think you'll have here? Pack in or we got Actually, we had to cut it off. We got oh, about 400. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and then we probably have, I think we have six or eight motorcycles. Man. Yeah, we try to get a few more motorcycles every year. Well, like I say, I mean, it's 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 mostly main and first, but there's side streets and there's parking yep. lots and they're yeah, just stashed place everywhere. We can wedge them in. <laughs> and then you got these little engines, these miniature engines. The miniature engines are great. They build these things from scratch. They cast the blocks, they machine them, they use weed eater carburetors and spark plugs for them, and the, you know they look like they have two four barrels on them. Have, well, you'll hear them in a little <laughs> while. There's there's even three of them with working superchargers on them. I haven't made it there yet, but before this place gets too slammed with with. Folks, I want to see those things. And you want to hear them. They, they, they're little screamers. <laughs> Let's go check those babies out, man. We can do it. <laughs> I hear fuel pump. Push yep. button. You guys have too much time on your hands. That's all I can figure. <laughs> wow. Well, George, this is a behemoth. This is a, what, a 1960 Lincoln Continental Mark V. That's correct, sir. You know, it's got such an interesting, almost Mark II-esque mm -hmm. grill. I mean, you, you mm -hmm. see some of the Mark II in there, and then with the, you know, the, the Dolly Parton uh, mm -hmm. bumperettes there. Of course. But that, you know, the headlight uh, treatment is something that customizers then went on to use a lot. You know, mm -hmm. this, this canted stack. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and this thing is largely original, isn't it? It's 90, 95% original. It's the leather it was born with. And uh, the gauge setup is, is so nice. You know, and with the hoods and everything, uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit 60 uh, Impala. Mm -hmm. Not as, not as mm -hmm. accentuated, mm -hmm. but I had never noticed that before. Yeah, yeah. You see styling cues from a lot of yeah. other manufacturers and all. They all kind of stole from each other. But, you know, plenty of room in front plenty of room in back, mm -hmm. and holy cow is this sucker long. Yeah, it right. even has dual air conditioning it, in a convertible. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a Lincoln for goodness yeah, sake. it's all Lincoln. But yeah, and, and this, the way this dishes, mm -hmm. uh, and again, even, you know, the detailing back here, a lot like the grill. Mm -hmm. How long is this? It's just short of 20 feet. Without a Continental cap. Without a Continental cap. And wide. Since post-World War II, it's documented as the largest unibody car, period, and very likely <laughs> was one of the largest, if not the largest car overall, if you take length and width together. So this is sporting the, what, the four, 430. 430 engine? Let's yeah. go look at that, baby. Uh, That's uh, a job big, in itself. The big safety hood. Uh-huh. Yep, the big old uh, 430 stuffed in there. Power brakes, but a single... Mass, mass Our system. single mass cylinder Boy, when drum brakes and it doesn't stop real no, good. No, and when you lose that single mass cylinder, you're done. You're done. You're done. It's <laughs> you, over. You better have a parking brake that still functions, or you're True just, just going to coast to a stop. I've been it, in that situation. It I have. do work good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, I tell you, man, this—it's the only one here. It's usually probably the only one anywhere uh -huh. when you're at a show. Yeah. But she's absolutely gorgeous. Love everything about it, man. Sixty Mark Five. Sixty Mark Five. Lincoln Continental. That's the car.
Well, Ted, I, I saw this when I came in this morning and I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> what is this? This is basically a Corvette with a one-off custom fiberglass body. Really? But underneath, the underpinnings are Corvette. All 66 Corvette. Well, I can see E-Type in it now, although, you know, heavily flared fenders both front and back yeah and then accentuating the the hood bulge to give us a, a good size scoop this is actually an original XKE scoop uh -huh. that has been elongated and reverse molded and uh, made one fiberglass body and the lake pipes you know so she's I heard you fired up I yeah mean, it's, it's not too subtle either. no no no, no. <laughs> it's uh, it's good and loud and her shifter yeah Linda Vaughn yeah. would be proud yeah uh, got the nice white ball and yeah Autometer gauges. That's and nice. And then you just went with a, that's like a plate aluminum or something? Yep, just a sheet of aluminum and cut it to fit. Now the tunes you added or had that in 75, did they make provisions for tunes? <laughs> no, we added, <laughs> added the tunes. They, they, didn't, they didn't make provisions for those tunes, oh, no. <laughs> not in 75. And the rear end, and again, I can, end, I can now see E-Type in it. Rear end, but you but know, it got kind of custom back here. It got completely custom back here. <laughs> it did. 50, 59 Caddy lights? Fi yeah, 59 Cadillac tail lights. The gas tank and you know the filler was obviously moved here, uh -huh. but the gas tank is all 66 Corvette. That is just, I mean, it's just amazing. So powering it, it's, it's a vet from 66, got a 350, yeah. 3... 327. 327. I love 327. Can yeah. we open it up? Yeah. Two-man job though, right? Yes, it is. I okay. need you on that side. All right. It's just light, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, that, I mean, that's your basic 327 Corvette. And I tell you, the other thing is, you know, the quality of the fiberglass is amazing. It's, it's, it's thick too. Yes, it is very thick and you know, the fiberglass work is very, very good. And then, it, but it's just GM, so it's it's easy to, to work on, got all the parts for it. And, and it's right here too, it's, you can stand in there actually. It's simple. And, and the 327 is such a great engine. You know, it's an old motor, but it runs good. And it looks good too. It looks good. Again, I mean, the like fit, that. yeah, the fit, the finish. This is amazing, because I mean, a lot of fiberglass jobs are kind of hack jobs. This is This is gorgeous. It's it's a good it's a very good fiberglass. And it's the only one out there. That is it? Wow, you are you are a lucky man. 66 Corvette Jaguar custom it's a Corvair or a Jaguette. Jaguette. <laughs> Ted, great car man. Thank I you. love this baby. Well John. Great to see you again, man. And you know, you and your studio, you know I'm a studio guy. Yep. And and this and, and and I like green vehicles. So man, you got you got two things going for you right away. There you go. A green studi. What more can you ask for? Yep. 49 pickup. Yep. I just think Studebaker made the best looking truck ever. I do too. Nothing quite looked like them. They all look, they always look happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's hard to make these look terribly aggressive, but yeah. they look happy. Now the split windshield, was that uh, was this the last year for it? They did that? No, they did these up until '53, I oh, believe. Oh, really? Yeah, wow, Studebaker I didn't realize that. Yeah. The trucks, yeah. A great hood ornament too. I mean, that's you know, that's, that's so Studebaker. Yep, that's my $11 eBay find. You you got that baby for? Did you have to rechrome it? Nope. It was just, in that condition just like for 11 that. bucks. Beautiful, oh, isn't man. it? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you get lucky on yeah, eBay. Yeah, you got you definitely got lucky on that. Yeah. And you know they they're so rounded. The cab yeah. is is uh, almost bulbous. Yeah. You've, you've tricked up the interior. Uh, what, what interesting seats, what these things come out of? They came out of a 96 Taurus. I, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to have the cup holder, so I've got the console in the middle that gives yeah. me the cup holders. You gotta have a cup holder. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Now you put an AC. That's, uh, Vintage Air came out with that brand new unit uh, just oh, as I great, was getting man. ready to buy an air conditioning unit. It was specifically designed for the C-cab truck. What so tiny. I got one of the first ones. Now you've got an automatic in it, but you've still got all your pedals. Yes, I do. I wanted it to look stock. Uh, the only thing that gives it away are the, my little uh, indicator lights on, yeah. the, on the dash. And what's the clutch do? The clutch starts the truck. <laughs> that is great, yeah. man. Well, you've done a nice job back here. Now, these are these tie downs with that, they, they aren't stock, right? No, they? they're not stock. They're on there because I use it. It's a truck and I use it as a truck. Man. Now, this would have had the, the uh, Flathead 6 in it originally. Flathead 6, yeah. Champion and, 6. And I, I gotta believe you've changed that. Yeah, I got yeah. tired of trying to keep up with people. <laughs> 85 horsepower wasn't cut for well, me. Let's go see what you did. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. That's that's not a Studi uh, Flathead Six. No. What are we not. looking at? We're looking at a GM 5.3. Came out of a 2002 Chevy truck. <laughs> Had about 60,000 miles on it. Just just broke in. So I mean, it's it's thoroughly modern. Thoroughly modern. It's under the skin. Under the skin. John, it's just a beautiful truck. Thank you. And like I say, yeah, I'm a sucker for Studies. Green works. And you're really color coordinated. Oh yeah. Studi dude. Studi dude. 
49 Studi truck. Beautiful, Thank man. Thank nice you very job. much. Well, Rick, this is a beautiful car. I wasn't even sure what it was when I saw it, in, and I believe it's the only one here. This is a 29 Stearns Knight, right? Yes, right. Well, not only is it the only one here, it's one of the few left on the planet, right? Yes, one of three. One of three? Yes. It's a massive car. I mean, was yes. this the standard car, or is this a limo? This No, this was a semi-faster sedan. They also had a limo, but it had a divider window between the two, and the front seat was just a plain leather seat. Well, it's just beautiful, okay. and what a, you know, monster radiator. Yes. You must have re-chromed everything, too. Yes, most, a lot of this chrome has been on here for 30 years, but oh. a few things have been re-chromed uh, this past year, not many. And dual side mounts, I like yes. that look. I love the, you know, the wires on it. Right. But what a huge passenger compartment. Seven, Seven passenger. passengers. That's it, because it has the jump seats. Uh-huh, which you can fold up or fold down. Two passengers in front, two in the jump seats, and three in the back. And all this woodwork would have been original? Yes, that's all original. That's, boy, it's beautiful. This, I've never even restained the fin uh, woodwork. No, no kidding, no. the original finish too. Now you've, you know, the, you've updated the gauges. Yes, the gauges are, are classic gauges. The cigarette letter yeah. is original. You were showing me this, this thing, Extends yes. the cigarette letter and all go the way, all the way to the back seat. All the way to the back seat. So if you want to smoke in the back seat, uh, we, can, we can fix you up, yes. up, up here. Wow. I mean, this had to be an incredibly expensive car to begin with. In 1929, it was a little over $6,000. That, that's a ton of money in 29. Yes. So, and you've got the, uh, the original trunk rack yes. and everything? With that down, it's way too long because this, <laughs> this car has a 145 inch wheelbase. 145 inches? 145 I mean, inches. That's, that's, that's all original. That is crazy. Now this would have originally had a, a uh, what, a straight eight sleeve valve engine? Yes, yeah, straight eight sleeve valve engine and I put a uh, big block Chevy in it. Oh, let's go look at that. Okay. There's the... Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit different. Uh, yes. <laughs> so what, what are we looking at? Uh, you're looking at a 468 big block Chevy with a Whipple supercharger. <laughs> is that basically a mirror? Yeah, it's a polished stainless steel. Wow. Because that folds forward, and then behind that are all the electronics, so you can't see them. So that well, yeah, it's, folds. It's, it's great, though, because you, you, get to, you really get to see the engine. Yes, I mean, it's yes. like, it's yeah. all there. And it's and easier it, to work on. Well, she's a great car, absolutely you. beautiful. You've done a fantastic Thank job. You. 29 Stearns Knight. Right. Man, that's a gorgeous car. Thank you very much. Randy, this is another really rare car. 53 Chrysler New Yorker. Yes, sir. But, but not only is it rare, but it's been in your family, like, from new? From new. My oh. dad bought it, <laughs> and then uh, I bought it from my dad when I was 16 years old. Well, it's, you know, Chrysler's, the early Chrysler's especially, were just, they were really elegant, and they had a lot of, I think, like, almost art detail. Yeah. I mean, this, this hood ornament, is gorgeous yeah. like the swooping eagle and even the v8 with the you know the tiny little dimples in there it's there's so much detail in this car so you've obviously redone this because right. it is showroom yes sir the paint's been redone about uh eight years ago I, I love the visor i mean it, you know the, that's such a nice touch to these cars did that come with it or was no, that was an option that my dad had put on after it left the dealership. What an interior, man. I love the art of the dash in a Chrysler. And this is just beautiful. You know, what I like about the instrument cluster is, it was like 60, 61, they, they, they had what they called the Astrodome, you know, right. where that thing came out. It looked, I always thought it looked like a gumball machine or something. Right. Like that. That's really the Astrodome dash, but collapsed down. Wow. Yep. You've also got the uh, steering wheel clock. That's a right. really rare option. Very rare option. That's a, I believe it's Swiss made. It's self-winding, aren't self -winding they? Self-winding from the steering wheel. Uh, man, I just, I love the car though. Back here, these, these elegant tail lights. And here again, the, you know, the detail in, in even the V, which, you know, I guess stood for V8. And I noticed your license plate. 331 yes, Hemi. Yes, sir. This got a Hemi in it? Yes, sir, it does. <laughs> Let's go look at that, baby. Let's go take a look at it. Oh man, the Firepower Hemi. That's a beautiful engine. 331 cubic inch. This was their first Hemi, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was called the Baby Hemi. This was their original first Baby Hemi. But boy, I mean, you've done this up like showroom also. That's uh, what was the intent. I told my dad that I would make it as close to the original as I could possibly get it by looking at pictures and trying to find out all the information. Absolutely beautiful car in the family since 1953. Wow, and and I mean, like I say, a handful of them left on the planet. Not that many. Not that many. 53 Chrysler, New Yorker, Newport, 331 Hemi. 
You're yes, my sir. hero. Thanks, Randy. You're my hero. <laughs> Thank you so much for Beautiful. interviewing me. Oh, man. The Main Street Reunion here in Napa is an excellent show. Beautiful cars and what a place for an event. You ought to check this one out. Personally, I feel a wine tasting coming on.